Today's going to be another one of those days, but each day the chances are going up for us to see some of those rain showers along the Wasatch Front, and we have a 50% chance for that again today. They're going to be hit and miss, but you have this moisture you see from our tracker, this moisture that's taking over the state right now, and that moist air mass is going to be in place as we jump into our weekend, and that's why we're going to continue to see those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Mid-80s right now in Salt Lake City. You see plenty of blue out there, but there are areas where you're going to be looking at a whole lot of clouds right now, especially going into the next couple hours. Low to mid-80s along the Wasatch Front. Park City, you're now at 80 degrees, 84 in Tooele. This is a bit cooler than it was yesterday at this time, 92 in St. George. But here's the thing, I want to keep a close eye on our satellite radar because those showers and thunderstorms, they are ramping up in our southern and central mountains right now. And some of the big concern areas, um, you see it mainly in the mountains, but I'm going to take you down to Cedar City because you have some heavy downpours in Brian Head moving into Cedar City. Some of those areas um, that saw some of that flooding earlier this week. So I want folks to be prepared. Just some moderate to heavy rain right now, but you do see lightning strikes and we're not seeing hail quite yet. We'll be watching that. No warnings in place, but with that high pressure parked where it was yesterday, you can see the flow around the system is continuing to pull in that monsoonal moisture from the desert. That's the name of the game as we go into the weekend, and that's why we have this flash flood watch. Flash flood potential is high for many folks, mainly in the southeast corner of Utah, but we're not going to leave southwestern Utah out. You're just not under that flash flood watch watch. That's where you're going to have all the ingredients for flash flooding. Showers and thunderstorms become more likely each and every day. That means heavy rain and gusty winds are possible and that could lead to flash flooding even along the Wasatch Front. And with these showers and thunderstorms, it's going to keep us a bit cooler. We're going to be well below average as we go into our weekend. Let's talk about Salt Lake City and the Wasatch Front. Mid 90s today, 50% chance of rain. It's going to start in the mountains. So areas like Park City, the Cottonwoods, and then we're going to start to see that kind of flowing down into the valleys. But again, for today, similar to yesterday, it's going to be hit and miss. You'll hit 101 in St. George. So there's a chance for showers and thunderstorms statewide. So for everyone in the Beehive State, we want to be prepared for that. And as we go into tonight, we'll still see some isolated showers and thunderstorms. So the roads may be wet early tomorrow morning as you're getting out for your Friday morning commute. Southern Utah, as that moist air sticks around, those chances do pick up in St. George for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's also going to to cool you down to the low 90s by Monday you dry out we're back to the triple digits on Tuesday so a little bit more average by then northern Utah we have that chance for daily afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So you get a bit of a break in the morning time, mm -hmm. but it ramps up in the afternoon. And with that, Max, it cools us down.